Hey everybody, it's Modern Refugee. I've been working on some uh, frame packs this winter and uh, I'm testing one of them out today. It's uh, kind of a modified uh, Roycroft uh, pack that I put an extra, I guess, uh, stick across the back side of it. Uh, and uh, taking a little walk here out by uh, the lake just to see how it uh, rides and how it works for me. Thought I'd take you guys along and uh, when I'm done I'll uh, show you how I got it uh, kind of loaded and packed. Out here I uh, thought I'd uh, show you a little bit how I got this uh, pack on. Now this pack I just have tied up with just some uh, nylon rope. It's not anything fancy. And then I got these two slats of wood here. And what these slats of wood are is they are to take some of the pressure off of the rope so it doesn't cut in, kind of redistribute the weight, I guess. This is how, uh, this is kind of a traditional way that these Roycroft packs are, uh, are carried. And the back here, you can see kind of the triangle section. I've got two different um, sticks across the bottom here. This inside one that I got laying against my... Uh, back I've got a, I've kind of carved out a little bit and uh, that's to uh, be more uh, I guess uh, conforming to my back when I'm walking and then I put a smaller stick on the outside kind of as a, uh, a shelf so my uh, my pack will sit on this and then I have the uh, the toggles that run up and down and then on the bottom and then I just got it lashed with a single piece of uh, paracord. I did a bowling knot on the one end and then just wove the uh, paracord in uh, in and out of the toggles to hold it. And it's actually uh, riding pretty decent. Now, the I tried uh, doing a couple different ways to uh, pack this. I did a blanket, I did a tarp, but I kind of find that this dry bag is uh, actually pretty nice. I got about 20 pounds of gear in here. I just kind of threw some stuff in here. I'll take this stuff out when we get back. I'll show you what I got in here. Um, but I just kind of threw some uh, basic stuff in here to kind of give me a little bit of weight on here in case I ever would ever want to use this setup uh, for like an overnight or something but the dry bag I kind of separated my uh, cords a little bit so I can actually open the center of the dry bag and I can actually get stuff out of here without taking the whole uh, pack apart but I'm gonna walk down here a little bit further uh, show you a couple of pictures of the lake and uh, just talk about this pack a little bit more got my uh, rope tied down here on the bottom just in a regular uh, bow to hold everything in uh, in place All right, guys, back behind us here, we got the lake, we got the marsh. Um, there's a lot of waterfowl in our area. We got a lot of ducks and geese that come through here in the spring, and then we got local uh, ducks and geese as well. Um, where we're on right here, this is a bit of a point that comes out, um, and it goes out into the uh, lake. That's uh, what we're hiking on here today with uh, my homemade uh, pack. You guys can see here there's quite a bit of resources right along uh, the shore here. There's all kinds of uh, driftwood, pieces of cattail and stuff. Let's see if I can get down here a little bit. I've got a nice flat spot here on the on the water. I guess a good time to mention um, this wouldn't be too bad a spot to uh, have a little bit of a fire in the evening uh, and then fish. The, uh, the fire would actually uh, kind of bring the fish in, um, fish like light at night, and it would attract the uh, bugs and stuff that they feed on and uh, would actually be kind of a good place to have a little bit of a fire if you were uh, stranded out here. Um, you could use that fire for lighting, boiling water, or uh, fishing. Um, just thought I'd uh, mention that to you guys here. And here is a uh, gem from our uh, hike. My wife found a really nice example of a Petoskey stone, which is a Michigan State stone. So it's uh, 
kind of a nice little hike today to find something like this. Coming down here to the end of the point, one thing about a point like this, um, it's not a bad spot to uh, set a camp up because what you can do is you can set your camp either on one side of the point or the other depending on where the wind's blowing. So then you have a little bit of a protection from, uh, from the wind. I've uh, walked probably about a mile so far uh, out here. Haven't had any problems with my uh, pack whatsoever. So I'm kind of happy about that. Get back up to the uh, truck. I'll uh, take the pack off and show you to you guys just a little bit closer. Show you a little bit what I got in it. But uh, getting down to uh, Land's End here. See the... Uh, the lake on uh, either side here. And there is pretty much the end of the point right there. I'm not going to go uh, much past this. No sense in uh, splashing around with the ducks in the uh, in the lake. Alright guys, I'm back up to the truck now. I disassembled this pack a little bit for you. I was going to show you a little bit uh, what it looks like, how I got it uh, made here. This is uh, the rope that I used for the uh, pack straps. It's got a lark's head knot here on the top and then this spreads out so you can, uh, you can shoulder it. Now the bottom here, this is how this is kind of different from um, a typical uh, Roycroft pack. I put two um, braces on the bottom. This one right here you can kind of see I got a curve carved in it and this was what rides up against my back. I uh, carved that curve in there to give me uh, extra support I guess while I'm walking. And then the back here I've got another um, stick uh, that runs along the bottom here and I flatten this top uh, edge off with my knife um, as good as I could get it and then that makes a little bit of a lip for whatever I'm packing to rest on that for me to use the uh, toggles and the rope to uh, to tie and uh, lash and secure stuff up. Now uh, this is basically uh, it's just a loop that I put on here and then I made uh, toggles um, the same way just carved a notch in here and made a loop. I made an extra notch here in the center in case there's ever something that I want to uh, secure here at the center I can move these toggles however I need them to be. Now these uh, lashes that I got here, I did a bank line and uh, I did a timber hitch and then I did a diagonal lash on uh, both of these uh, sticks and then I reinforced it with some uh, wire, just some real basic uh, wire um, that I had around. I just uh, tied an extra loop on because I'm not that 100% uh, with my uh, knot so I want to make sure I have a good rigid pack and like I said I haven't had any problems with this. This is really uh, a secure pack. I did that on the top too for my uh, for my uh, cross at the top and that's basically uh, kind of my version here of a Roycroft pack and like I said we walked about a good two and a half miles today and we had no problems whatsoever. This is uh, how much paracord that I use to uh, lash my dry bag onto uh, the pack frame. And then this here is my two uh, uh, flat sticks that I used uh, to take the pressure off the um, the rope. And I had no problems carrying this whatsoever. Like I said, we liked about two and a half miles, um, but I had uh, I could probably have easily walked another four or five miles with this, no problem. Um, and then the uh, the dry bag here, the dry bag. I got about 20 pounds of stuff in this. Um, it's a 20 liter dry bag. Got an MRE, and I got a. Uh, big bottle of water in here and I actually had the uh, the straps on the edges here so I could access this stuff even though it was still on the pack so I didn't have to disassemble everything and I got a I got a schmog here with all my uh, other assorted uh, stuff in it that I threw in this particular pack today basically just a bunch of uh, food some accessories got a 
Mountain House meals, some dehydrated meals, some beef jerky, got some coffee mixes, some bars, a pair of gloves, some cigarette lighters in here, a couple of Bics, and uh, a uh, headlamp. And then I got a little bit of a first aid kit here. I got a got wipes, got bandages, a little bit of a uh, gorilla tape, and then I got my uh, bush pot. And then the other thing that I have in here, I've got my one of my wool blankets. And inside the wool blanket, I got my uh, shelter tarp, pair of socks. Got an extra garbage bag in there somewhere. Yeah, down there. And then I got a uh, ridge line, a couple of tent pegs, and uh, that's uh, that's the gear here that I had in uh, my uh, dry bag that I had in my Roycroft pack today when we took our little hike. Give you a little idea. Got my uh, got my knife in there. It's on my uh, Mora Garberg, and uh, one of my steel uh, saws as well. Give you an idea here about what I had packed in this pack, but that would be, that'd be enough for an overnight if I had to uh, spend the night out here. But anyway, as a modern refugee, appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys got a little information, a little entertainment here on my uh, modified uh, Roycroft uh, pack frame that I built this winter. Hope you guys uh, have a good one.